first row, Chief Sharianis, Nadini, yeah. Rogan, yeah. Cleveland, yeah. Dean, yeah. Zaki, Eldridge, yeah. Duffy, yeah. Stone, yeah. Boothby, yeah. Roby, yeah. Brett, yeah. Duca, yeah. Lang, yeah. Hadley, Chisholm, yeah. Boo, yeah. Dort, yeah. Bulla, yeah. Blade, yeah. Mailhoit, Irusi, yeah. Boss. Yeah. Alright, I'll read the uh, numbers. The line of duty will be the first four names. Chief Yubi Moran, Lieutenant Norman Berry, Engine Company. John Reba Naka, Engine Company. This is Bessie. Company, William Bell, Steamer Company. Wallace Adams, Hook and Ladder. Albert Burgess, Steamer Company. George Adams, Company, Nate Black, Steamer Company. Dean Miller, Chief, North of Taz, Hook and Ladder, Lewis Phipps, Combination. Francis Moore, Engine Company. George Fallow, Engine Company. James Walker, Combination Company. William Moore, Independent, Arthur Miller, Engine Company. Harold Fisk, Engine Company. George Taylor, Chief, Henry Carlson, Chief. Fred Fuller Rescue Company, William Brunel's Engine Company, Robert Morrow Ladder Company, Rick Delaney Engine Company. I invite all of you to bow your heads with me as we offer prayer. Gracious God, this is a happy and joyful day for all of us in this community as we gather here. of the fact that there is a sacrifice involved in making this commitment. And we are here to honor those who have made that sacrifice, not only for some of them in giving their lives in the line of their duty, but in giving their living also to preserve and protect the citizens of this community. Grant, O oh Lord, that we might indeed, within our hearts, have that genuine sense of thanksgiving and appreciation which befits a citizenry that is blessed with men and women such as these. And we remember and help us not to forget the days to come, so that we as a community here in this state might always honor those who give themselves for us. Help us to uplift and uphold the traditions represented here today. And to honor you in all that we say and do, we pray in your holy name. Amen.
us observe a moment of silence at this time to honor and remember those who have given themselves in the past. And those who stand among the and men and women who have made the commitment to protect us and preserve our community. Use this moment of silence as you wish. We're going to get started here this afternoon. Again, thank you all for uh, taking the time to come out and join us today. It's an important day, uh, not only to the members of this department, but I think to the community as a whole. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to ask the Father to come up and uh, render a prayer of uh, dedication to open the ceremony. Thank you. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we come today to recognize this facility that would be serving to many purposes and recognize the people who serve this community. You are the Lord and the Holy Protector and we are your people that we are caught in all different kind of activities and we need to be surrounded by prayers, we need to be surrounded by your help and also recognition that in human needs we can do a lot, but we need also to reconcile ourselves in the face of the task that awaits us from now on. And while everything seems dark and dangerous, we place our trust in you, in our Lord and God. We trust also each other, and we, as a community members, we trust all the members of the companies that work here. We recognize that many lives were saved. As I visited yesterday, the gentleman at Leonard Morris Hospital, he said to me, Father, the people from Ashland who pick me up from my house and bring to the hospital saved my life. So I'm thankful for the people who do very fine job. And we know that you hear our prayers, so we now will, with confidence, start to do our fine job. Thank you, Father. Let me just say that a public speaker I am not, so bear with me. Before we get started, I'd like to uh, just introduce uh, a few people, uh, starting with the Galani family, um, Ricky's children. We have Linda, Mike, Lisa, Terry, and Debbie. Also, I'd like to introduce uh, members of our Board of Selectmen, uh, Chairman, Mr. Barry Bresnick, uh, Terry Evans, Barry Hunt, uh, John Ellsworth, I believe, couldn't be here with us today. We have um, a couple of speakers uh, that got to get going here first. First would be uh, Senator Gagnani, uh, followed up by Representative Stephanie. Senator? Thank you very much. Um, hard to know what to say on an occasion such as this. Um, 
the town of Ashland has made a commitment to its firefighters by the investment that it's made in renovation of this facility. It's made a commitment to its own safety, and it's a recognition that the men and women who work to protect the community deserve a facility that is modern and efficient and is reflective of the dedication that they give to this community. And so it's certainly part of the reason we're here is to celebrate that uh, and to really, I think, accept um, on part of the town with some appreciation the investment that it's made in providing a facility for our firefighters. The other reason we're here today is to de dedicate the building uh, to someone that uh, all of us, I think, perhaps without exception, cared very much about, loved, in fact, and had a tremendous respect for. Um, I knew Rick, perhaps as many of you did, uh, as a personal friend and as a, as a man dedicated to his family uh, and to his community in ways perhaps that very few of us can emulate. Rick was a leader. He was a leader in precisely the way that leadership is supposed to function, and that is by example. The example of his life, the example of his humility, the example of his dedication, the example of his self-directed initiative, the example of his integrity. It doesn't seem that there's any way to provide a proper monument to him than to simply remember him as he was and as he always will be in our hearts. In some small way, I'm here to offer a citation on the part of the Massachusetts Senate as part of that recognition and remembrance. And I'd like the family to come up and receive a citation from the Massachusetts Senate, if you could, please. It hereby known to all that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the town of Ashland, really, in recognition of the inspired dedication and love that our Carl Rick Galani demonstrated to the town of Ashland. It is hereby known that the Massachusetts Senate extends good wishes for the continued success of the town and that this citation be duly signed by the President of the Senate, attested to and a copy transmitted to the Clerk of the Senate. It is signed by President of the Senate, William Bulger, Clerk of the Senate, Ed O'Neill, and your State Senator, David Magnani. I think, for me, uh, it is probably the deepest honor I will ever have as a Senator to be able to offer some small recognition on behalf of someone for whom I have such tremendous respect. Thank you. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to be here to join in this great festivity today in the recognition of the commitment the community has again to public safety, to its firefighters, but I think most importantly to recognize one individual for their personal commitment to the community, but to also recognize the symbol of that person's commitment that is reflected in so many others. We saw in a dedication ceremony just moments ago outside many dedicated young men and women that put their lives on the line as, as needed on a moment's notice to protect this community. And I think that Ricky Galani would like to be remembered for many things and will be remembered for many things. And I think that it is through his memory that all of us are given a special gift and that gift is something for which we should try to emulate. I too would like to offer um, to the town of Ashland and to the Galani family a special citation from the House of Representatives um, to the Galani family and to the town of Ashland. It reads, be it hereby known to all 
that the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to the town of Ashland and the Galani family in recognition of the dedication of the R. Carl Rick Galani Memorial Fire Station, an inspired symbol of his devotion, dedication, and love for the town of Ashland. The entire membership extends its very best wishes to the town of Ashland and to the family. Signed, Speaker of the House, Charles Flaherty, and State Representative, Charles Stephanie. We wish you well. afternoon for this important ceremony. At this time, I'd like to introduce the chairman of the Board of Selectmen, Mr. Barry Grosvenor. Thank you for inviting me to be here and say a few words. Today, Fireman Sunday, is a very special day for our town. It is a coming together of a time a place, and a person. This is a time when we honor the members of our community and communities all over our country who put themselves at risk every day to keep us safe and to protect our lives. Our firemen are our first and best line of defense when the unexpected happens and our lives hang in the balance. Many have given their lives to save those who they never even knew. A place. This building is a very special place in our town. It is more than just the refurbishing of an old building. It, it represents a commitment to those who we honor, as well as a fulfilled... It represents a commitment to those we honor as well as a fulfilled commitment to our community to return fire and ambulance service to the downtown area where it belongs. And in honoring this time and this place, we honor a man who held in his heart his fellow firefighters, his fellow rescue workers, his downtown station, his community, and most important, those people who were most in need of his help, just like when he was a fireman. We honor Rick Alani for his service as a fireman, for the many things he created for his community, one of which is the beautiful new downtown clock just outside the door. We honor Rick for his commitment to a downtown station, and we honor him for his commitment to the people of our town. Rick was like a solid gold thread woven all through the fabric of a place we call Ashland. And so it is fitting at this time and at this place, we honor that man by dedicating to him this piece of Ashland that looks out over so much and so many that he has touched. Thank you. Thank you, Barry. At this time, I'd like to introduce Terry Evans. I'm sorry, I have to say I was not expecting to be speaking here today. Um, in the very short time that I have been in this town, I've been fortunate to know a number of good people, many of whom I see gathered here before me. It seems so appropriate, therefore, to see you gathered to salute one more who is not here. And I am pleased to see the station reopen and dedicated to him. And more, more than anything, to see the sort of love and care that he represented reflected in the faces of everyone here today. And I would like to thank you very much for that. And thank you for letting me be part of that. Ladies and 
gentlemen, let me just say that uh, myself personally, I've been with the department for going on 13 years now. And uh, one of the first people that took me in, let's say, and showed me the ropes was Rick. I know that um, he wanted the best. He expected the best, not only of himself, but those of us that were around him. Um, there were times, and probably no one more than me, butted heads with them, uh, but the end result or the end goal was always the same. Uh, the best that we could provide for the citizens of Ashland and the safest way that we could do that. Uh, one of Rick's uh, biggest loves was EMS, uh, something that's very important to all of us. And he strived very hard to make sure that we, in a small community, in a small department, could provide the very best. Starting back in 1976, he worked hard with uh, then the DOT uh, to get some grant money and the end result was that was the very first class one ambulance uh, that Ashland had. Up until that time, we'd been using the, uh, the old rescue of class five uh, rescue. But Rick was able to secure the funds and we got started with the class one ambulance. And hence the beginning of what we could provide being the very, very best in EMS services. Um, right before it, uh, Rick was injured and had to retire. He was pushing forward again, uh, myself and Rick and another member, Jack Healy, who also was injured and had to retire, started some advanced life support training back in 1983. Um, we all completed it. Unfortunately, uh, both Rick and Jack were injured. But uh, we never stopped pushing. And uh, about two years ago now, with some young blood, some new blood. We were able to pick up where uh, Ricky had left off. We put uh, six members through, and two years ago, this July, we became licensed at the Advanced Life Support level, and we're providing advanced life support care for the citizens of Ashland. Uh, to a lot of you, um, that sounds nice, but it's to the individual that it is nice because we make the difference one person at a time, one save at a time, and it makes all the difference for us in the world. This is nothing more satisfying than, than pulling somebody back that it wasn't their time to go. Uh, the members of this association felt very strongly that this station should be dedicated to the memory of Rick Delaney. And we wanted for not only ourselves, but for the people of Ashland, to be able to look at this station, and to look at inside the station, and to look at the equipment out there, to remember that we have a lot to do with where we are today. So how do we do that? We have a dedication ceremony like we have this morning. But we wanted to take it one step farther. Chief, could you give me So to the Kalani family, uh, to the citizens of Ashland, and quite selfishly to ourselves, we'd like to unveil this. says dedicated to the memory of firefighter Carl Rick Delaney, February 13, 1938 to November 22, 1991. And in the top is a, uh, a badge, an Ashland badge that has his number, number six, which has been retired from service and uh, will no longer be issued. That, ladies and gentlemen, uh, concludes what our dedication ceremony um, our formal dedication ceremony. Let me just take a minute to recognize uh, some of the people that helped us pull this together. First and foremost, the Chief of the Department, Frank Carianis. <laughs> I 
like to take a minute to thank the members of the dedication committee uh, that helped put this together. Uh, first would be Bob Duffy. Mike some of the area of the departments and sent uh, representatives uh, that are here with us today. First and foremost, uh, Chief McMillan, Hopkins the Fire. <laughs> Chief Efren and Sherman Fire. It's a wonderful opportunity, the Lord, to recognize in the face of the people and the communities, community, the ones who serve very well to this community. Lord and divine protector, when uh, Noah trusted for, uh, came forth from the ark after a long and difficult storm, he built an altar when he and his family prays to you, their God, and saving them. And then a rainbow appear on the skies. We would like to ask you that you will show to the members of this community many rainbows of their good work uh, and our prayers of gratitude. We, like Noah and his family, came now, came now to thank you for protecting our firefighters. Uh, the danger will pass them, and that many people would, would be saved. We thank you, Lord, for bringing that inspiration to the firefighters and to the members of this community to recognize Rick Alani for his sacrifice. It lifts up all the members of the living family in gratitude and praise uh, of you. We thank you not only for the safety of this facility, but to, for the, this opportunity to place, place our trust in you, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 